Hello dear friends at TorqueNews.com. I'm about to test drive the e Cascadia electric semi-truck. I'm going to hop on the truck now and drive it. Hello. How are you? Good about yourself. Very good, thank you. Oops. Wow. Yes, yeah, so this is the, the full production uh, Freightliner e Cascadia. We started producing these in 2022. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see here, everything that you see is, is, uh, is comes fully standard on, on the e Cascadia. So you have your A panel and your B panel. Mm -hmm. This is the touch screen. Yeah. Um, so right now, I'm currently in our energy flow screen where we can actually see our current percentage. So oh, we're cool. at 66%. 66% charge. And underneath your speed is our current range. Mm -hmm. um, this this vehicle also comes fully equipped with the Detroit Assurance uh, Speed of Safety System. So it's got uh, active brake assist and uh, adaptive cruise control as Mm -hmm. um, so this vehicle is built in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. Our high voltage batteries are manufactured in Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, these small. are the batteries in the yeah, back. So the yeah. batteries are right there. They're right underneath that catwalk. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, behind those are our uh, Detroit electric axles. Mm -hmm. so this is a completely electric powertrain. Wonderful. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Because a lot of people will ask. I'm sorry. Would you introduce yourself? Please? Oh, Joe Kidd with the uh, Fairlander e Mobility. Okay, Joe. Nice to meet you. Armin Harry. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Yes, Joe, what is the advantage of this truck with Tesla Semi? Because the entire trucking industry is talking about Tesla Semi. You know, I know the range. I know the range yeah. difference and so on. But what is the advantage of this? So I, I know in the, the preliminary numbers that we've heard is, is that obviously their range is a lot longer than ours. So something like this is a 438 kilowatt hour battery pack, mm -hmm. roughly 220 mile range. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that we've noticed is the, uh, the I don't think that Tesla has any certain weight numbers. Okay. Um, but I do know that, that we are um, on the lighter side for the for the heavy duty electric trucks. So we're at 21,800 pounds mm -hmm. for something like this. And the other thing that, that I that I want to speak on, and this is this is really just amongst all all of our competitors, is is we, we have the backing of our service network, so we mm -hmm. obviously we have our. So you have a service network for that. We've been we've been doing this for a while. So we started with our, our electric innovation fleet, I believe, in 2018, mm -hmm. and so this is you know going on the diesel trucks as well. So mm -hmm. um, this is really kind of built, you know, in that mold of the of the Cascadia, and so um, yeah, you know, we, we we've got you know we've got the history. Um, obviously, you know, we're a little bit lighter and, 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 you know, we have that serviceability with our service network. And so we're, we're approaching, and I think actually Katie spoke on it today. I think we've actually surpassed 5 million customer miles. Yes. Yeah, so wow. am amongst all of our customer fleets, you know, we, we've got Good over 500, or excuse me, over 5 million miles of customer data. And so, Very nice. um, we're, we're hearing a lot of, a lot of really good feedback from drivers, a lot of good feedback from fleet managers. And so, um, yeah, we're just going to, thank gonna you very much. Up. I'll look forward to test driving this. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Just twist it, on the twist drive. it in the drive, yeah, and then and then your foot is on the brake. Now yes. press in your park brake, uh, park which brake is that that in. yes. Okay. Shove that oh, in. Like there you go. Yes. Wait all the way. Yes. Okay. Um, Until it kind of depletes the air. There okay. you go. Ready You're good to go. Uh, okay. Are we going to go? Yes. Right so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. Uh -huh. Wow, this is cool experience. It's uh, definitely a little bit quieter than any diesel truck that you've been in. So we're gonna make Feels this right. Feels very light. Yes. Uh, right. Your, your center. Yes. Right. Uh, your center of gravity is a lot lower yes. um, than our diesel truck because obviously you know you have your, your high voltage batteries or something along that frame rail. It's cool. So you'll notice you shifted from first to second gear. Yes. Um, so our our electric axles, the forward most rear axle. Forward. Yes. Uh, the, the foremost electric axle has a, uh, it's got two motors and two gears. Uh -huh. The rearmost axle has one motor and one gear, and that, that rearmost uh -huh. axle is always in second gear. Yeah. I wonder how it feels when you drive with the trailer in your back. Yeah. It's a little bit heavier. <laughs> yeah. Because this feels like very light experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a little bit different than the trailer, but actually we, we calculate our range with a trailer. So diminishing load, starting out your day fully loaded, coming home empty. You um, said you have five, 5 million miles on this truck. So 5 million like customer miles. Customer correct. miles. Uh, who are the main customers? Are they big uh, freight liners? Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's... Or it's independent? So it, it's, it's majority large fleets. Yeah, um, okay. You know, obviously, you know, you have your national accounts that we run. And, you know, all of our fleets, they, they've been diesel customers. Uh -huh. Uh, but that, that that's you know we, we haven't really seen too many you know sole proprietorships any sort of owner operators. Um, it's been mainly mainly you know the larger. What was this? That is your lane departure warning. So basically, oh, I see, I your see. Detroit Assurance <laughs> system. No, your Detroit Assurance. Attentive. Yeah. <laughs> so it was picking up the lines, and as you went over, it was just uh, yeah. letting you know. So it doesn't um, what is the charging speed on this e 
So with, with an eCascadia, you can get them uh, equipped with a dual port charging. Uh -huh. um, and that is, uh, you can charge it to 270 kilowatts. So this okay. this battery pack is, uh, this is a U-turn. Oh, U-turn. Yeah, yeah. So this battery pack is a 438 kilowatt hour battery pack. You can charge up to 270. So you're looking somewhere around two hours with dual port charging. Okay. Majority of the early deployments that we've seen do not utilize du uh, dual oh, port shit. charging. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that, cool. That's what Sonoma Racer has been using as their mowers. Yeah, um, is, yeah, cool. keeping their grass low. Um, majority of the, the deployments that we've seen is they're charging somewhere in that hundred to one hundred fifty kilowatt range. Uh -huh. um, so you know you're looking at you know a little bit closer to three four hours at that okay. point. Most of your clients probably use this for like regional, local. Yes, regional hall drainage. Yeah, um, yeah that localized delivery. There is. Using there is. Right? There is. So, they can bring to the garage or depot and yep. charge overnight yep. and get ready for the business. Yeah, and we've actually had early customer deployments where actually they've run 150, 200 miles in the morning. Uh -huh. They charge their trucks up for four hours in the afternoon yeah. and then they have their second driver go out in the afternoon. So they're, you, you can, you know, kind of utilize, you know, a little bit more range or, you know, a little bit, a little bit more capacity. But what would you say about the battery warranty? Like so we're at a five year, I believe for this exact application, five year, 300,000 mile uh, okay. warranty. Um, but with, with battery technology, you know, we're still kind of early in the game, but you know, we see it going, we, we see these trucks lasting, you know, close to 10 years. Okay. This is the first generation in Cascadia? This is the second generation in Cascadia. Generation. So are you working on the third generation or something now? Yeah, it, it's in the future scope. Um, you know, we, we had our first generation, our first generation prototypes that, you know, we utilized in our innovation fleet, our customer experience fleet. And that's, you know, kind of, we talked about this earlier, but that's kind of how we got that real world experience, you know, what works, what doesn't work. Um, and so the second generation came to be in 2022. <laughs> so that, was, that, that was your late departure. Up on there, it was not <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, especially when the lanes aren't, you know, perfect, it, it's kind of hard to pick it up, especially, you know, when you have the, the puddles and such. So, not this left, but the next left is where we're going to be turning. Oh, this left? No, not this left, the, the next one. Okay. Yeah, so right up here, we'll be making that left into where it says Sonoma Raceway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right over here. And then you'll just pull into that parking lot. So pull a U-turn, then pull into yeah, the. Yeah, go there, uh, make a U-turn, and come back. Yes, sir. Okay, sure. We didn't really touch on this at all, um, but you are currently in full regenerative braking. Oh, okay. So whenever, I, I failed that. One. Yeah. So I whenever you take your foot off the accelerator, down. you'll notice that, okay. that the truck was braking. You get a lot of uh, energy or charge by just regenerating. Yeah, yeah. So actually, you can kind of see it on your B panel. Okay. Um, well, you'll notice the uh, the yeah. there's a blue line, which means that you've got energy going back in, and so that's just another way to you know prolong your range. You're there. Uh, so right in between those two. Okay. Yes, sir. This was fun. Very fun. Yeah. Awesome, man. I'm glad you got to drive it. We had a great day today. You did? Yeah. What uh, what car did you drive? Oh, I, I we drove all the electric vehicles.